The following pseudocode algorithm uses nested if statements. Question A says, name the type of statement demonstrated by the use of if, then, else, and if. The type of statement refers to one of the six basic constructs of an algorithm. Input, assignment, sequence, selection, repetition, and output. In this case, an if, then, else, and if statement is going to be a selection statement. So let's go ahead and write that in the answer. You could also write a conditional statement for this answer, since we're using conditions in your if statement. Question B says, rewrite the pseudocode algorithm using a case statement. Case statements are used when we're testing a single variable against multiple different values. If we take a look at this nested if statement, we notice that for every if statement condition, we're testing the same variable against a different value. The first one tests if response is equal to one. The second one tests if response is equal to two. Then we test if response is equal to three. And finally, if response is equal to four. Within each if statement, we're performing almost the same assignment statement. For the first one, we're saying x is assigned to x plus y. The second one is x minus y, then x multiplied by y, and finally x divided by y. Then for the last else statement, we're simply outputting no response. With a case statement, we can have a number of cases. These cases refer to the values of a single variable. The variable being tested here is going to be response, so let's go ahead and write out the first line of the case statement. Case of response. For every value that response could be, we're going to write it on a new line. We have four different values that response could be, so let's write out these four values. One, two, three, and four. After each value, we're going to put a colon to represent what statement is executed if response is equal to one of these values. And then for each value, we're going to go to our nested if statements and see which statement correlates to that value. So for the first one, where response is equal to one, we have X is set to X plus Y. We are simply going to copy and paste this over to the answer. Where response is equal to two, we have the statement X is set to X minus Y. Let's copy that over. Where response is equal to three, we have X is set to X multiplied by Y. We can copy that over. And where response is equal to 4, we have x is set to x divided by y. The last thing we have is an output statement saying no response. This occurs in the final else statement, which doesn't contain another if statement. This is essentially the case that is run if response is neither 1, 2, 3, or 4. With a case of, we can write this using the keyword otherwise. Then we simply copy over the statement, output, no response. The last thing to do is to close the case statement. We do this using the keyword end case. One thing to make sure of is that you have enough space before each line within your case statement. This is called the indentation. And the reason we use it is to make the code easier to interpret. And there we go. That is this question complete.